Right guys, just a quick video because I learned a very important lesson yesterday. So what I was, I was out making a review video of the Power to Bebop 2. Now I was in this location by the tennis courts, as a matter of fact, I'm on this little square over here which is the basketball court. Now as you can see, I've switched on my power to bebop and I am, you know, flying my drone around this area. Now, what happened was when I was finished flying in this area, I decided to move over to another area. So what, what I done was I moved from the basketball courts all the way over to the soccer field, the football pitch. Now, when I arrived there, I noticed that I had s not switched my power to bebop off. So my power to bebop was still powered on. And what I done was I just ignored this and I continued to, you know, get ready to take off from the football pitch. So here I am, ready to take off, and then when I took off, this happened. Now, as you can see in the video, the power to bebop is doing what I'm telling it to do. It's flying off into the distance. However, when I press the return to home button, we see that the power to bebop starts to rise to 20 meters, 20 meters, and then all of a sudden, it tries to fly off in the wrong direction. So what's it doing, I thought? Well, the answer is simple. The Powered Bebop 2 is flying back to where it thinks home is. And at home, on this occasion, is where the basketball court is. Remember, I had not switched off my Powered Bebop 2 when I moved to the new location. So I took manual control of the Powered Bebop 2 and I flew it back to its correct location, which is, of course, on the soccer pitch of the football field. So, what I done here was I done an absolute restart of the Power to Bebop. I rebooted it all back up. It updated its GPS to say that the soccer pitch or the football pitch is its new home, return to home place. I done the test all again and successively the Power to Bebop 2 came back to me. So guys, it is very important that you switch off your Power to Bebop 2 when you move to a new location. Okay guys, I just thought I'd share that with you and you know, hopefully nobody crashes the drone because of this or has a flyaway because of this. Thanks for watching the video, I'll catch you guys all later.